Bang. Hi guys, this is Mark Black, and this is Mark Teaches Music, and you're at my improv workshop, session 55. If you want to just jump right ahead and start ad-libbing without any input or discussion, just go to the description right now and click on the timestamp that says Ad-Libbing on Lot Full of Cars, which is the name of the song today. It takes you right to the song, and there won't be any speaking, so you just go ahead and start playing. So use the link in the description of this video to get a hold of the scales and keys and uh, the chart for uh, B flat, C, and uh, E flat instruments, as well as uh, scales for the guitar, the bass. Uh, it'll be great. So anyway, so today's the ninth day of November. It's 2023, and I want you to have fun, and I want you to be awesome. So in my improvisation workshop, we're trying to get better, and I'm getting there better with you. We're going together, and uh, we're ad-libbing, improvising, trying to create great solos. And I know that you can do it. Uh, so we're going to go back and forth, uh, soloing back and forth. And since we're trying to learn, I may stop. I'll probably stop, you know, three, maybe four times and say some stuff, some ideas that seem good to me uh, and uh, you know, but ways to ad lib. So for more information about lessons, go to www.dallasmusiclessons.com. And there's information there about me teaching lessons and how to get a hold of me and stuff like that. And if you got any questions, of course, put them in the comments here. And you can also email me at mark at dallasmusiclessons.com. So this week we're ad-libbing to Lot Full of Cars, which is a pop song in B minor. And uh, last week in session 54, we did a world piece in, uh, not, yeah, not world piece, but a piece with world music uh, in C major. And I played the acoustic guitar. Today I'm playing on the piano. So if you like this, you need to hit like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and share this with somebody, preferably millionaires who can support my business. So it's muy importante, check out the suggestions for ad-libbing in the description, which is gives us guidelines uh, for what to do and how to work best together for you to get the most out of the video. Uh, and so keep coming back to Mark Teaches Music. There are over a hundred uh, different, uh, yeah, more or less 15, 20 minute uh, tracks to ad lib with lots of different styles, some with just one chord or just one key, some with a uh, fairly complicated, uh, and they'll be here for you for a long time. So today we're doing a song called Lot Full of Cars, and I'm on the piano. And uh, so let's listen to it and let's see what, uh, you know, the uh, flow of it, I suppose. And here's my picture, and here's the song itself. It's only got four chords and just repeats a million times. Let's turn that up. Now there's no more to it. So here's the B. The B minor, the G major 7, the D, and the F sharp minor. Now notice, now I want to think about, we talked about a bunch of times uh, in songs, period. Let me get this to stop. Uh, mood, and, and happy mood, including uh, in a classical piece, it'd be like a noble mood, or it'd be like a thoughtful mood, or it'd be like a uh, precision. This is so excellent. You know, these are this, you can call them mood emotions uh, in the video. Mood casting, you call, I'm calling them moods. Uh, and uh, the point here is each of these chords has a place, including like not exciting chords. So listening to this, I'm just going to say the feelings I feel that the music is making me feel, and you need to grab those. This is beyond just knowing, oh, there's a B minor. Oh, this is using the D scale. All the chords in this song use the D scale. Uh, underneath them, uh, the D major scale, the D pentatonic scale, the D blues scale. Uh, but beyond that, each of these is creating a mood, so you're trying to get to that mood. So here we go. Here's the B minor. And here it sounds like resolution. Ah, oh, it's sort of peaceful. Oh, back to dark. It's sad now. Sad. Somewhat a resolution. Oh yeah, it's okay. And that's back tense again. So, it seems to be a pretty good, well-constructed uh, song, if I say so myself. Uh, okay, so uh, anyway, so I'm just trying to grab the feels for this. Uh, B natural minor is the same notes as the D major scale. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. If you start on the uh, 
B, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A. It's kind of loud. Looks loud. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here we go. All right, I'm going to start.
my turn. I'm going to stop it. Well, that took a long time. Okay. Now, what I want to say is, uh, I was watching, um, what's his name, Mike, Michael League, uh, who's uh, the founder of Snarky Puppy, and talking about, uh, I forgot, one of his keyboard players who's uh, helped him a lot of learning. And um, it, I'm just, you know, saying this is something that many musicians know, and just saying, hey, here's somebody that's uh, well known saying it. And the point is, is playing within your abilities. If you can, this is as fast as you can play, then you're ad libbing less fast. You're, you're, that is, and that gives you sweetness. Uh, that gives you let you what you play have character and direction. Doesn't mean you practice. Don't practice really as fast as you can play and work. You know, you're just on the edge. But then when you're soloing. You're trying to pull back into what you can do well. You can do, and you may be pushing yourself, but it's like, you know, I can do this. And so you're pulling back as opposed to just craziness. Now, <clears throat> the craziness is, and there's other people that don't follow that. I think that I would say maybe 80% of musicians would uh, take that idea that, you know, when I'm playing, I'm, when I'm handling, I'm playing, I'm doing it well, and I'm pulling back from my, my edge. Okay. So anyway, so the point is, is I'm, having to pull back and do this you know you know like that slower things what i and i want you to think of this it's like if the fastest you could play is ba -da 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 -de 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 -de, that's your top craziness speed uh then so if we call it you know uh, call it an eighth note then that's your top then most of your solos should be in eighth notes, da, 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 or quarter notes, da, da, da. like that's the bulk of your soloing, so that you can go slower and do half notes, and that's your low end. Oh gosh, he's really slowed down now. And then your fast end, you've got the sound. So I'm saying that, that that if that's the fastest I can play, da, 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 then I gotta make I gotta play most of my solos slower than that. So uh, so that when I do play that fast as I can play, it sounds like oh he really really went fast. And if the fastest you can play is ticka 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 thirty second notes, and you can comfortably do that on your instrument or whatever, then that means that you can do a lot of your solo as eighth notes, do, 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 instead of ticka 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 ticka, you can do it as a sixteenth notes, do, 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 comfortable to you uh, moderately comfortable fairly comfortable uh and then i'm giving a practical consideration that uh, you could you could define it like well i can't play my uh whatever pattern you're using on a guitar or a bass or other instrument fretted instrument uh uh up fast in this so i want to play most of what i play is so that sounds like when you did that 16th note, it sounded pretty exciting to the listener. Okay, let's come back in. I have no idea where we are. There's the D chord.
your turn. to say was uh, is that remember if you watch these others I've said uh, if you get stuck sing and again you can sing terribly la 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 but I can tell the pitch as long as you can tell the pitch that you're singing you're making up stuff your voice is close to you to the heart of you to what's important to you sound wise note wise and a uh, long way from I would like to hear this either in your brain or you don't want to hear this and it comes out to your hands and gets to the instrument and it's like was it right was it wrong it's a big difference big distance and it's a short distance and I don't mean physically but I do mean psych psych I don't mean psychically uh, phys, not physically either so either mentally or orally between what you hear and what you'd like to sing in your voice so it comes out a lot and I'm going to illustrate that real quick And all you would do is just sing a few notes. I went. If you find that on your instrument, you mess it up, you figure it out. If you liked it, if you say, wow, that was a cool lick, so then you say, I want to I wanna capture that lick. I want to learn that lick. Because that's my lick, it came out of me. And of course, you were influenced by all kinds of people, but that doesn't matter. So the idea is just that you can get yourself rolling by taking a 5 to 15 minute lick to come right out of you and sing it and then figure it out. And it's a great thing to do. Let me get you to keep on going. turn and the uh, only thing I wanted to add was remember this is B natural minor so 
means the same notes as the D scale, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, or if you take it as B minor, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. However, if I just play the D scale, And those notes are straight up will sound great because when I played the D the chord was a B minor you know so there's no direct oh my gosh you're just playing a D major scale that goes for the fretted instruments the guitar if you know a major pattern starting you can start right on there the, the D or not but it's just like those notes are all fine every note in here here's the B minor those are notes in the D scale then there's the G chord there's the D, D. And then there's the F minor. Every single note's in the D scale. Go ahead. My turn, I go. Um, Your turn. In three minutes. Two minutes. Just you. No interruption.
Okay, so what I talked about, um, I talked about that um, we definitely want, again, some people don't do this. There's not, nothing wrong with the ones that don't. They usually are great at what they do, and you feel like you're on the edge. Oh my gosh, you know, can he do it? And he does it, wow. Uh, but probably I would say maybe 80% of great musicians, if they can do this much, how fast they can play, how complicated they can make what they're doing, and what they do is just a little less, say, uh, uh, 80%, 90% of what they could possibly do uh, so that what they're doing is what they meant to do. And that really helps. Besides, don't think of it as missing notes. Think of it as, is it grooving? Is it amazing? You know, is it, gosh, how could anybody do that cool and that thoughtful? And so when you're watching a lot of guys that play and it's really amazingly fast, they could actually go faster than that. Uh, so anyway, uh, so and then I was trying to give a practical example of that by saying, you know, imagine dynamic, uh, uh, sorry, rhythmic levels as, you know, four beat notes, notes that last four beats, notes that last two beats, notes that last one beat, notes that last a half a beat, that last um, a third of a beat, that last a fourth of a beat, you know, a sixth of a beat, I can't do that with a ticket. So anyway, and so the fast, the, the speed that you can go the fastest and still have good control, so you say, well, that's my top, and so my norm is going to be slower than that. As I, so again, if, if eighth notes, a half a beat were the fastest I could play, then uh, my quarter note would be that kind of the normal thing I'm playing. So then when I go to the eighth note, do bo do 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 so when I do that, that sounds like, whoa, well, you know. Of course it doesn't because we uh, probably should be faster than that. But that idea of uh, having a contrast is a good idea. And then we just talked about the fact that B minor, uh, natural minor, any natural minor has a major scale with exactly the same notes. And it's when you learn uh, what those are. Uh, so for example, F sharp minor is the same notes as the A scale, A major scale. Then you've learned the natural minor and the root of all the minors, of the Dorian and Phrygian and whatever. It's like, hey, you know, we're just making a harmonic minor or uh, ascending melodic minor or, you know, whatever. Uh, we're saying, here's the natural minor, and I'm making an amendment to make it this other more exotic scale. So, anyway, uh, that makes it comfortable. And uh, so I want to encourage you, man, to add that. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I'm kind of silly because I <laughs> end up liking these songs. Songs all probably too much, you know. It's just kind of like well, this is cool, and uh, not, you know. Oh my goodness, we've done too many of these, and uh, we may have, you know. But uh, anyway, so uh, anyway, so again, if you like more information about lessons, go to www.dallasmusiclessons.com, and uh, there's information there, just you know, about me or whatever, as well as how to get a hold of me. And if you got questions, put them in the comments or uh, send me an email, Mark at dallasmusiclessons.com. And uh, like I said, like it, subscribe to it, click the bell for notifications, and uh, I, I have it written right there, include me in your will, <laughs> and share this with other people, get other people to come, and keep coming back. It's, it's all in the lives. You know, it's, uh, what it should be is in the videos. It's all in the lives. All of the, those, those are uh, at least 100 different songs to add lib to, you know. So anyway, that's really good. So until I see you again, I want you to have fun. And I want you to be awesome.